Okay, gang, this is reading number three. I'm trying to hold this while I do everything, so don't mind a little bit of shaking. We're going to zoom in. I did the basic, boring, fantastic Celtic cross. Uh, this is, if you haven't had a reading before, this is the standard, okay? Um, nothing fancy, just kind of a asking the question, giving a little bit of background, and then getting to the answer and some upcoming challenges and good things in your second part, okay? So the first part, the card on the bottom, the Two of Pentacles, is going to be descriptive of our subject. So it's someone that is almost a master of their money, uh, but not quite there yet. You gotta love the love cards, they're all so pretty. Um, the first thing that I do when I look to a, a reading layout is I will look at the person on the bottom and then I'll take a look at the cards themselves. So I'll look for, are there a lot of cups? Are there a lot of other suits? Um, are there a lot of major arcana cards? Okay, so we have like the magician, we have the devil, you know, we have, there's another cup, you know, we got some cups, there's a knight of wands. We have the King of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups, the Queen of Swords, and the Four of Pentacles. So it seems like we have a pretty decent balance around Cups and Pentacles. So that's going to be your feelings and your emotions and, of course, your money. Um, there also seem to be a bit of kind of uh, royalty. We'll go with royalty. So like your Knight, your King, your Queen, and then your other Queen. Uh, sometimes they will represent people. I never assume that they represent people. Um, some people will assume that they represent people in your lives. That may or may not be true, but because I absolutely, I really don't know the person that requested this. So this is reading number three again. Um, so I am not going to make any assumptions. So I've gone over the basics. Uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to look for the story. So... Again, the card on the bottom is the person. The next card is going to be the card that crosses them. Okay, so this is kind of like their challenge. So this is the Three of Cups. So again, we're back to our emotions with this one, all right? Just doing a basic overview here, okay? The Behind them, the Magician, okay? So this is going to be some mastery in some any kind of task. Typically, it's something creative, something that you do with your hands, um, making stuff creating things. Um, so that's what they have in their background. It's something that's pushing them forward. Sometimes it's something that's holding you back. You never know. Um, in front of you is going to be your Knight of Wands. Wands is the spiritual realm, whereas cups are emotions and feelings. Wands are more spiritual, sp the, the spiritual realm stuff. Yes, there you go. Thank you. Um, your Knight, of course, being the low man on the totem pole, as far as royalty goes, it's someone that's still learning, doesn't have their own kingdom, it isn't a queen or a king. So that's going to be in front of them. So it may be a path from a mastery of one thing creative to learning something new that happens to be more spiritual, more self-improvement related, that sort of thing. Underneath of you is going to be your five of cups. Um, again, the broken cup, never a good thing. But this is below you, okay? So below you is either weighing you down or pushing you up, okay? This specifically is going to be more of a weighing you down kind of thing, all right? Above you, the devil. Ah, fantastic. You gotta, you gotta love the devil. I mean, that could go good or bad. Um, a lot of it speaks to our inner desires, uh, more human-based desires. Oh, carnality, lust, money, possessions, wealth, power, that sort of thing. So that's going to be an influence in the first, sorry, my fingers, the first part of, you know, what we're dealing with right now. So at this point, I don't actually see much related to love, which could be good or bad. Uh, I'm actually not sure if this person is married or not. So <laughs> again, no assumptions here. So we're going to go... We're going to go over to the second part of the cards, okay? I'm going to kind of separate them because I, I have a small, small scarf here today. Okay, so at the top we have the King of Pentacles. The King of Pentacles is awesome. I mean, that's money. And here we're talking about the mastery of money. So the top we're talking about kind of the surrounding environment, all right? So from the looks of it, this reading to me 
is speaking to money. So even if they asked about love, this is saying, you know what, there's something more important. It's obviously money, okay? Um, something that is going to influence the decision about money is going to be the Queen of Cups. Now, I hate to say that money and emotions kind of run hand in hand, but they do. They, they absolutely do. Um, you know, especially, ugh, yeah, just money and emotions. And a lot of it is because we think that money makes us who we are, and it doesn't. It doesn't. You know, um, it's better to be happier, happier in seeking your spiritual realm and be a little bit poorer than to have to fight with a king over money <laughs> to prove your wealth. Yeah. Okay, so next. Uh, Queen of Swords. This is going to be someone that is going to influence the decision about whatever you're making. Which, you know, again, at this point looks like money. The Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords is a fascinating person. I am enamored with the Queen of Swords. I mean, not only is she beautiful and awesome and has a sword, uh, but she's also fantastic at dealing out justice. Uh, what do I mean by that? She's the one that's going to kick somebody's butt for saying mean things to you, okay? But she's also going to be swift in penalizing you if you screw up. Does that make sense? So it's the double-edged sword. It's protection and it's justice. Make sense? Okay. So the answer to your question, whatever your question ends up being, is the four of pentacles. And four is happiness and family and pentacles is money. Hey, they look happy enough there. But again, very little of this had to do with love. And that's okay. I mean, I'm not going to argue, you know, just go back and look at my video about Bob. Uh, I'm certainly not going to argue about this. It certainly has a lot to do more with emotions and money. So something to think about. For reading number three, no names, no names. Um, you know, what exactly does the devil have to do with your love of money? Hmm. And are you turning down an opportunity to perhaps seek knowledge about something more spiritual and self-improvement because you're concerned about money and judgments and you should know that this lady has your back, but she's also going to kick your butt. And in the end, it all, it all turns out okay. You're not going to be rich, but you're going to have enough for your family. Does that make sense? Sure, let's go with that. Have I forgotten anything? I don't think so. Let's see, two, threes, yeah, no, okay. We're good. All right, reading number three, if you have any questions, you know, message me. Uh, otherwise, we'll get some more tomorrow. Love you guys, bye.